vlog? Do you like my smug face? Uh, we have like 400 videos. Let's knock out some videos that people sent in. So if the video is good, I will return your points. But if the video is bad, we throw it away in the garbage and go pick. Then I'm taking your freaking points. And you're never seeing them again. Do you hear me? It's time to begin. Warriors have to be at peak fitness to do their job properly. This is a modern day British Army 24 hour ration pack, scientifically designed to keep the fighting person fit when they're in the field. What, what did what peasants might eat in medieval time? By... Oh, I like this guy. We are going to have a look at uh, what might be called peasant food. Peasant uh, food. We've got what looks quite simple what sort of it? set of things here. Do you want to oh sort of God, go hold through on. them? I like, want to know what it is. Like bread. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. This is the food! Distinguisher. What's wrong with that bread? It's very uh, powdery. Barley it's, flour it's and rye. It's brown coloured, which sort of in our era sort of is posh bread, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, it's entirely... Oh my God, that bread must be so f***ing dry. Holy s***. In the Middle Ages, the brownie or bread, the poorer you were. The yeah. browner the bread, the poorer you were? But back then, this is the food of the peasant. Right, right. Because there's more effort that goes into producing the fine flour. peasant. And this... We have ale. If you had a good source of water, you would drink water. Right, oh, right. I see. If you didn't, you would drink beer. And you might start drinking beer from the, from the age of about five. Is what? It Are you telling similar? me there was drunk kids wandering around in the Middle Ages just like, oh, God. Just you had fish there. And that looks like salmon to me chunky steaks of salmon it is salmon. indeed salmon yes salmon in the middle ages was peasant food because it was freely available in rivers those salmon quite expensive chunks of was salmon cheap and food? we had brown bread we had booze beer it was very weak beer a... oh i see so it tasted it's like ass yes. that's what you're telling and you've got potage is anything that's cooked in what a pot what is potage right, so, so oh really anything cooked in a pot is like potage frying, so it's uh, potting it so that does and not sound appetizing what the peas oh peas God, stop! Yuck. It's Brilliant. basically Ew, medieval mushrooms. I don't like that. Right. Ew. And you're cooking on, it's not an open fire as such, it's coals, isn't it? So it it's is, not it's... really flames. No, it's charcoal. I have to say, it seems to be cooking very efficiently, actually. It is remarkably quick. Yeah. Possibly. So you didn't keep it over the winter, no. you just, right. Because then you have to feed it over the winter. Right. Oh, yeah, you, you don't want to feed it. a pig. Um, you want to eat it. Bit, uh, they'd use the blood to make things like black puddings. Oh, I um, hate blood pudding. Sausage, so nothing would have been wasted. Wonderful. Probably put it on the bread. Plate. All right, I would eat that salmon. We what the f is salmon. that? Right, so I'll sort of... And Ew, what the f is food. that? Those are the leaves? <laughs> oh. She pees. Ew. A lot of people think that peasants would have eaten grey, boring food. I mean, I don't mind the fish, but... Uh, I'm more impressed now, but food I don't want to eat it. I'll, I'll starve. Okay, well, that was a good video. I guess you get your points back. Well, maybe next time you might not be so lucky. <laughs> Motor sports are dangerous. Be safe and never hoon. What the f*** is hoon? What the f***? What are they doing? Ruining roads? Yeah, I can, I, can, I can see that. What the f***, bro? Oh my god, what are they doing? Oh, what? Is that what they're doing? A circle? Oh my god. Uh. What the hell? It does sound like a mosquito. Mosquito. I think this is great and all, but this is like too long. This is 19 minutes of driving. I'm taking your point. <laughs> oh no. Why? This was two weeks ago! This was two weeks ago! Bro, why y'all oh do this, God. man? Oh my God. Look at the difference. Oh. Look at the difference. Oh, wait, but this one you could see it in like high death now. Look at these. Stop moving. You stop moving. You stupid little. No, I swear to God. I do. Can you please? Jesus Christ! Why? Why are you going the same way? Oh God! Please! Oh my God! How is this possible? It's like I know where I'm gonna be. Oh my God! There's like no space. There's no space. There's too many of us. There's no space. Jesus! Can you? 
very hilarious. Thanks. God damn it. Don't keep doing this, please. There's too many of us on the screen. It doesn't make any more sense. All right. You need to keep your points. It will be submitted again. Ah! It better f not. Through the years, I have been known by many names. Goose and Boots. Diablo Gato. Diablo Gato. The Furry Lover. Furry Lover? And the Ginger Hitman. <laughs> ginger Hitman? At most. I am Boots. A Boots. Oh my god. He's an Elden Ring. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Oh, Oh my god, this edit is so good! What can I say? Searching for a way to clear my name. That was incredible. I'll watch it. Alright, you can keep it. I enjoyed that. You ready? Let's do it! Oh my god! This episode! Yes! Forever I've seen Red. All ten of the original Red Rangers oh team God. up together in order to save the world. Yo, this episode was so good. Holy shit! What are the Red best episodes of Power Rangers be the ever? Perfect episode of Power Rangers. Man, I wish that they would do more. I would love that, shit. and a lot of people would love that shit too. It's basically the Avengers Endgame in the Rangers universe, and it comes with an added cherry on top of being directed by arguably the greatest Ranger director of them all, Koichi Sakamoto. Yeah! Sakamoto has. We quickly learn that Tommy Oliver, aka Tommy! the Zeo Red Ranger, portrayed by the late Jason David Frank, is putting together a team of Red Rangers to stop the remnants of the Machine Empire from excavating Lord Zed's Zord, Serpentera, to act as a doomsday machine and destroy the Earth. Well, the less said about the in space Rangers meeting the Ninja Turtles from the next mutation, the better. Well, uh, we good guys gotta stick together, right? Fighting evil and all that kind of stuff. That turtle had tits! The blue one! She had titties! I don't want turtle titties. Driving up on a Harley Davidson and removing his helmet to sheepishly quip, Jason! You guys weren't gonna do this without me, were you? Jason! From here, Tommy gives a brief exposition yeah! dump explaining a new villain named General Vengex is unearthing Serpentera. And then we get the moment that every Rangers fan has been waiting for, a henchin sequence where Let's all go! 10 Rangers transform into their suits back to back. There have been a few crossovers since Forever Red, but most of them have relied heavily on previously existing Sentai suit footage, and none of them have felt as special or well-directed. Man, they f***ed up the 100 Heroes battle so bad. Oh my god, that made me so mad. Maybe the powers that be should learn a thing or two. Next time, they're trying to reboot the Power Rangers into a big budget live action feature <laughs> film. Just hire Koichi Sakamoto. And that's all we have for this episode, Rangers crossover episode. Comment down. All right, I like this video. Don't get me started on Cosmic Fury. Cosmic McFlurry. Oh God, the splashing. Yo, what? Oh, yo, what the f I gotta watch this. What the f Is this hentai? No. <laughs> All right, you get to keep your point. Ooh, Maki Ito! Balls? Maki Ito had chosen a difficult career path. Maki Ito has a tough job being an idol. idol. If you're not familiar with what an idol is, oh, it's a Japanese my God. performer whereby mostly girls as young as 15 sing and dance to choreograph songs. As young as 15? No, 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 no. Not as young as 15. There was like a controversy because this K-pop group came out and one of the girls was like 11. Huh? until finally making an announcement that she will join DDT's sister promotion, Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling, as a part-time wrestler and part-time idol. Wow. Maki Ito makes her debut on the 11th of December 2016, three years after her first appearance in wrestling. But She's now so she is cute. not someone who will stand on the sidelines. She'll be in the ring and hoping to win. That's like gonna be a yikes for me. Joshi. Bro, this was three years ago. You should see her now. Let's look at a recent thing. Oh, oh, there you go. 
show of respect. Oh, we need a little hug. But we'll Aww. Oh, look at this. Being eight. Oh, wait, no. He's going to the doctor. He's This was on national TV? <laughs> I'm sure it was on television. I didn't finish your video. I'm sorry. that he thinks he knows how to dance. <laughs> what? A miniature me? Whoa, this took 37 hours? I wanna see what I become. Most of the work is done with sculpting tool and color shapes. Oh my god! Whoa, so much progress! Whoa, what the f***? This is so cool! Medicine time. Look at my ass! Wow, that's incredible. Oh, look at my tail, it's so cute! Yo, oh my god. Sir Dabbler, you are so talented. What the f***? Wow. What? Oh my god, the jacket too! Thank you for taking the time out to make me. Oh, it's just so tiny! No, thank you! Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Holy god. sh! What? His head is like the size. Oh my god. This is the gorgeous Nimbus. And he's a one-year-old Central Asian Shepherd. No, he doesn't. I'm sorry, did you say one-year-old? That dog is a puppy! Is he gonna grow more? Nimbus weighs in at a massive 150 pounds. What a beautiful dog. 150 pounds? Oh, you got out of here. Oh my god, is that drool? Ah! So far. Ah! Who wouldn't fall over Nimbus? He's so cute. What a good boy. For the dog. Oh, wow, it smells Aww. good. Nimbus! Give me that in my mouth. Hello. He's so cute. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just salí a cacarico y tuve un descontrol. What the f***? Le di toda la noche a lo trago. Y sin querer come demasiado. A de sobra grande que me están esperando la prieta en Gerudo Valle. Dale, celda, dale. Pásame la trifuerza. Oh my god, look at all the doctors dancing! Why did that slap? What the f? Yeah, oh my god, that was so good. What the f? That's that looks like that weird ass puppet movie. from that movie. Barnaby Dixon. What the f? He's a student of anatomy and movement. Animals move differently from humans, but in some kind of counterintuitive ways, what? they can move in a very similar way. This finger mechanism here, I can control some of the fingers independently, like the index finger. The f***. The f***. Index uh, finger controls the left leg like that, uh, and uh, the pinky finger controls the right uh, leg. I almost wouldn't want to prescribe any rules, you know, just see what's possible, because I think there's a heck of a lot possible that we've not explored yet. That's incredible. That guy is so talented. Holy sh! Woo! Epipet! 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 Eh, eh, the deal! Woo! Oh my god! Holy sh! Yo, that. Jesus! Eh, the deal! Dance. What the f a woman had a three day long headache. This is what her kidney did to her liver. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't be watching this. Uh, uh -oh. Well, I'm watching it. <laughs> Six months earlier, Casey started having massive abdominal cramps that would happen once a month. Worst pain she had ever experienced in her life up to that point. Oh no, maybe I really shouldn't be watching this video. <gasps>
The doctor told KC the hardness in her abdomen were a series of tumors all <gasps> over her liver, but it wasn't liver cancer because a much larger mass was found on her right kidney. Oh my to god! regulate fluid balance. Oh my god, I hate the fact that I'm in this model and it looks like I'm smiling. I am not smiling at this! My face is horrified! It's called chromophobe kidney cancer because its cells are not colored by the standard stains used to see cancer under a microscope. But it's hard. It's hard getting well diagnosed with a rare disease, the dude. The hospital didn't have enough blood for her to do the surgery. But luckily for KC, when she put an announcement on social media, the local response for blood donations was simply overwhelming. Suddenly, oh, it became a victim. Don't eat plasma blood, everybody! Don't eat plasma blood! When she returned home, her blood pressure returned to how she remembered it years ago before this ordeal, as KC was able to regain full function again. My name is Katie Coleman. I am the real patient KC and wow. I'm a metastatic oncocytoma survivor. Katie oh! is the I'm glad she's okay, and I'm glad she's thriving. That makes me happy. Don't eat plasma blood! <laughs>